Hey there! I can't tell. Oh, I can. It's recording. Yay! Okay, I'm not nearly as nervous as I was in the past. I'm going to try and keep my head out of this. Um, we're going to do a couple of techniques that I haven't done for a long time, so I guess we'll see how that goes. For a while I called it spooning. You can see why. And then I called it scooping because somebody had an issue with it and spooning was just too weird for them. And what this entails, the beginning of this anyway, is to take a shallow container. Whoa, I have a lot of wind here today, so any unexpected things happening, things will undoubtedly blow away. Anyway, so I'm going to do something. Let's go back. Here's, there goes my lid. Here's a really nice somewhat deep container that has usually got a lid on it that I can't find and the one I was using just blew away. But that's a really good way to save your paint if you fill a reservoir with paint to scoop or spoon out. I'm going to put this someplace the wind won't take it, maybe. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to be doing something for you today that I have called a number of names. I've called them orbs. I've called them stars. It's basically uh, between three and four negative space corners and I let the, the paint flow around. In the past, I've done it with um, just a, a dirty flip cup, but today I want to do it with spooning so that we can kill two birds with one stone. I am going to try and reverse things so you can see there's my blaster silicone. I don't think I could possibly inhale this today because the wind is moving just that fast. So just one squirt in the bottom and then just start to add my colors, a little shake, I have some colors I didn't have before, which is making me kind of happy. We should see what happens as I fill up the reservoir with pretty colors. Hoping some of them stay where I put them. They don't seem to be much yet. But I'm just going to keep going for a while. Oop, flow trail did not mix. You cannot overfill a container and be able to mix it. So always leave some space. Or you'll be sorry, like I just was. But honestly, because this is more or less accidental art at the end of the day, if something accidental happens, I kind of think of it as part of the course. I need enough paint in this reservoir so that I can see patterns I like and decide to extract them with my spoon. Simple enough concept. Let's we'll see how it works today. Random patterns. For me, not random colors. That's why I did this to begin with. So I would have a chance to choose what I like to see in my painting. But then we're going to tip it, so, you know, it's not necessarily an absolute. And the only silicone I'm having in this, but you can see cells forming in the surface. I'm trying to focus and talk to you at the same time. This color freaks me out every time. I don't know if I'm in love with it or not. I like it when I see it in other people's work, but I kind of avoid it most of the time. Let's see if we can shake this now. This is, uh, this is a color I pre-made with uh, golden iridescent medium and some magenta that I had. And I think I will give that a little more green. That's awful pretty. There is no blue in there. So, I think I'm gonna disturb that paint with some blue. And that looks good enough to me. I got a splooge over there, but I don't care. Okay, here comes the spoon. This ought to be pretty easy. And honestly, in the end, we can just dump it. But right now, I'm liking putting things where I like to see them. Also, depending on how much paint is left, I will show you right now if I have my spatula, and I do, 
that I can just not waste any of that, with the exception of whatever's on the back. And it will always make another cool pattern. Take my cap, put it in the water bucket. And wiped off my tool in case I want to use it again. Okay, over here on the side is something I showed a few people that you've seen, which is an edge catcher for me. And what this does is when I tip my painting, I stop the paint. And then I let a little bit go over so that I have a pattern that I catch it. This is what I made it out of. Whatever I found, fairly stiff plastic. That happened to be the container that the flea medication for my animals came in. So right now, wow, you know, I think I'm gonna torch that. Even though I find it beautiful. Just like it is. I learned if you torch early on, you get more cells. But if you torch too long, you fry your paint and it's not gonna move as well for you. Like I said, I haven't done this for a while. I'm liking the pattern I've got. I'm gonna make a four, four edge star if possible. Here's my edge catcher. Make sure I don't have any. Yeah, I have a little paint on there. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. Here it comes. I'm going to do this early enough so we still have paint to move to the other locations. Not that there isn't probably some way I can figure that out if I have to. Palette knives come in really handy. I don't want to lose any of that paint. Make sure I have a nice puddle moving in the direction I want it to go. And I can use the wet spot again. Sorry, I'm not talking, but I am very focused. I would like this to work out for you guys and me, of course. I'm trying to get my paint to go back to the center if we have enough. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if we had enough. I don't know if I go down over there. Sometimes I get a nice pattern in the center. Sometimes I have to manipulate it a little bit. It's been a long time. It's been months since I did this. But the cool thing is, we can take whatever paint we've got left. And I'm gonna take, I thought I was gonna use black. Found some black. Let's just move a little bit of that right now. So you can see where I want to go. I like that the edges have puddles on them. I'll stick paint because if I'm fast enough, right next to but not on the edge. Spray the paint around. Push your paint in. As soon as it hits that other wet edge, they're going to start to merge. They're going to be a nice, usable bunch of paint that I can pull out into little tendrils and may make look cool, if I'm lucky. I don't want to get any other colors in there particularly. I'd like to cover my edges now. Usually things dissipate and start to dry up rather quickly, especially since mentioned before I'm outdoors and it's hot today. So I'm going to use what I've got right there to try and show you with a straw and hope it works. But where the paint mat we have a nice organic looking edge. So I'm going to try and hurry. Uh -huh exact same thing again in this other corner. And I did enough of these, so I ought to be fast. Let's hope so. Don't worry about it. If you stick your finger in something where it doesn't belong, you can always fake it. There's almost always some paint hanging around somewhere. Nobody's going to know but you. Pick 
that up. Do my edges again. I love this little flat spatula. It does a lot of the work for me. No need to saturate a paintbrush with paint that, that, that you then have to wash out. All right, I'm gonna do the same exact thing again. And I can actually go in. I want some of that gold there. Just add things. Some of the orange there. Wherever I want. Weird cells. Little, tiny cells. Also, while things are nice and wet, you can take a little gold paint. it'll come out. That would be good. Now? Now would be good. Okay. Take the top off. Let a few drops settle in there. Because I'm liking the gold in that area. Roll it. Drag it. Pull it. Do its thing. Spiral it if you want. Okay. Got a little left there. Go down, move that down there. Kind of like that. Kind of looks like it should have it all the way around. So I'm going to do it again. How fast can she move? Sorry if my head's in the way. Most of the time, this will sell. Doesn't look like it is now, but this is also one of the warmer days I've ever tried to do this, and certainly never tried to do it, make a video and do it at the same time. And it's first all over the place. Can't be afraid of it. You've got to keep trying stuff. Anything that's not perfect, I will probably come back to and attempt to fix again. In the meantime, it's time to get on with this. And my paint is still wet. That's nice. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. I'm a pusher. Nice even layer is best, obviously. Smooth is good. So far, so good. I don't know what to tell you now. It's just a race to the finish at this point. Makes me want to go do the other one the other corner that's left while I still have time. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It used to be my favorite size for making these. Something about tipping on a square. I think I just made life difficult for myself. I'm going to have to pull this over a little bit. Pick it up again. Hopefully the wind doesn't catch it. That would just be not something I would be interested in have, having having happen right now. Push that in. It's maybe not the most interesting one I ever did, but at least I shared with you guys how I did it. And sometimes if they're really boring, I go in there with a the skewer. And I just drag some paint around where I want it and or add some more paint where I want it. Right now, it's like we have paint everywhere I want it and a good possibility of still manipulating and throw my tool in my bucket. Good habits. Can't beat them. I'm going to wipe off my skewer. So there's some black paint in there. And I would usually squeeze little dots of paint, but right at this moment, I let one of my tips clog again.
hopefully my music's not too loud for you. It was awful windy, so I didn't have, you know, it was either not hear the music or play it loud. They look a little too uniform for me, but... I'll just keep playing. No choice. I'm gonna have to move my, adjust my tile so I quit sticking my fingers in my, uh, work. I really would have preferred <laughs> to be able to squeeze that out there, to tell you the truth. I'm gonna roll it. Again. Time to add a few spirals, wipe off my skewer. If you just rest the skewer in the paint, it will deposit some most of the time. Not promising everything's going to work for you just the same way it works for me. But there's a good chance in my mind that it will. I like my curly cues. Still nervous. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I really expected I would probably never do this, and then it just kept getting, I kept getting more and more requests. As long as the paint is damp, when it meets the other paint, it will help create some kind of reaction. I just want to put something in there. What? What do I want to put in there? I can also go back in and merge these. With those paint colors on the inside. I'm being inarticulate. Please excuse me. Oh no. Was my head in the way the whole time? Wow, I hope not. <laughs> Alright, so what I saw that I liked the look of, or I wanted to add a look to is this area right here. Yeah, we need to add a little bit of, need to zhuzh it up just a little bit. In that area, looks like it's got a lot of extra paint. So I'm gonna steal some, put it down over here. I'm gonna steal some more. Let's see where it takes me. Thick things are. Check it out. Not afraid to experiment. I am not hating this. It's not my favorite, but it's getting better. Add a little something here. Move something around there. I see some missing paint over here. Roll my skewer, let the paint that's on there come off. Okay, I don't know how center, centralized we are on there. Ooh, that's a nice big cell. Looks like it'd make a great spiral. I love this pink. Matter of fact, I think I'd like some more.